When you're building up a page and adding JavaScript interactivity to it, it's good to follow the practice of progressive enhancement. We're going to talk about what that is in this lesson. So here on the JavaScript examples page, we currently have JavaScript loaded so that we get these nice behaviors and our client-side form validation, among other things. But if I disable JavaScript and reload, the page still works nicely. We don't have all of the nice behaviors, no color box, and so on. But everything's still accessible, and it still looks like a totally decent website. Progressive enhancement means that you start from a baseline that is totally accessible to everyone, and then you start adding on, progressively enhancing, the page or the site to include more functionality for browsers and other applications that might be loading your website that can support those richer features. So in this case, we start adding things like the read more behavior. This add a post button is one aspect of this that does not quite follow progressive enhancement because it doesn't actually do anything when you don't have JavaScript enabled. But other than that, the page still works. These links will not open in a new window, but they will open. With the web being such a dynamic medium, it's very important to make sure that your site is accessible, and that it's accessible across all kinds of devices, both the kinds that we know of now and the kinds that are coming out all the time and that will be available in the days, months, and years to come. And there's another reason to be careful about progressive enhancement specifically related to JavaScript. And let me re-enable JavaScript and reload this page. So I'll show you what I mean. If I switch back to my code here, and I add a line that doesn't actually work. Just a bunch of nonsense here. Save this. Now I'll reload this page. And you can see, suddenly all my stuff doesn't work anymore. If I open up the web inspector, you can see I'm getting a reference error here. And everything else that appears after that error just doesn't work. So of course, you need to be careful about managing bugs and errors in any kind of computer code. But with JavaScript specifically, you need to be careful because it can break entire behaviors of your site. And if you're relying entirely on JavaScript, then one small bug could have a cascading effect through the rest of your application and cause all kinds of stuff to break. And that's no good. So there's at least two main reasons why it's important to follow progressive enhancement and add on features using JavaScript instead of making JavaScript features mission critical. The first is that you want to make sure that your site is accessible without JavaScript for devices, both current and in the future, that might not support JavaScript fully. And then also in the interest of helping your site continue to work if a bug happens to be introduced. If your site is accessible without JavaScript, it'll also be accessible with somewhat broken JavaScript. So when you're building your applications, progressively enhance.